Hello all, welcome to the brand new video series of Azure DevOps. In this video series, we are going to see 30 videos in 30 days. If you are new to my channel, hit subscribe. Your subscription will motivate me to produce more video in better quality. In our last videos, we have seen about this work item tab and we have created various work item. In this video, what we are going to see is area path and team. So what is an area path? First of all, let me open the user story which you have created from our last video. And if you see here, this is area. So what is an area? With the help of area path, you can group the work items by team, product or by feature. So let's consider an example. We are having a web application which is currently in our on-premise and it is available only in a limited network. And we are planning to expand this application across globe. So in that case, we are planning to bring two major changes. One is migrating the application to cloud and another social media integration login. So which means you can log in with Google or Apple ID. We are going to strategize the area path based upon the feature as well as by team name. So we will be having two major classification for this scenario. One is cloud solution which will be working on cloud migration and another is application solution which will be working on social media login integration. So for cloud solution, I'll be creating two teams, one for dev and another for testing team. While creating team itself, I will be creating an area path on the name of the team, which means under cloud solution, you will be having two teams and two area path initially. On the other hand, if you see application solution team also having dev and testing team. So in order to have a proper hierarchy, we will be creating two more area paths, which is one for cloud solution and one for application solution. Under that only our teams, dev and testing teams will be there. So technically there will be two major area paths for hierarchy and then there will be four teams for that four team will be having four area paths. Is it still confusing? Let me put this in a different way. So imagine like we will be scheduling a daily meetup for these kind of activity. For cloud solution, I'll be having a separate meeting because it is completely different from application solution related works, right? So I'll be having a separate daily standup meeting for cloud solution and similarly, and another daily standup for application solution. And now why we have two teams? So let's take an example for application solution. So we are in a single meeting where both dev and testing team is there. In boards, there will be separate board for dev team. So I'll be just opening up and I'll be asking, hey dev team, these are the tasks assigned to you and what is update for it. Once done, I'll be just switching to testing team board and I'll be asking, hey, what is update of this? There could be some cases where some task needs to be keep it common. So in that case, I will be just keeping it under application solution area path. So later I can divide the task to dev team and testing team later. So either way I can do it. So by this way, I can manage my work better. Also, when it comes to access management for dev team, I can have different set of permissions and in testing team, I can have different set of permissions. You can have single team and single area path as well. But as and when more people are there, the team is getting growing up or application is growing up. It is better to have multiple area path and multiple teams. To get started with, just under the project, go to project setting and go to project configuration and areas. So here in the name of the project, we will be having an area and in the area as well, if you could see, you could find only one area. This is created by default in the name of the project. So now under the sales application, we are going to have two major areas. So let me click on new child. Let me name this area as cloud solution. And we need to create one more area for application solution. So if you click on new child from here, it will create a child under cloud solution, but we need to have under the sales only. But anyway, let's create a new child from here and we will edit it. So here, if you see location is currently under sales cloud solution, we will uh, change it. So area path is application solution. So let's save and close. If you see here, this is currently under cloud solution, which shouldn't be just click edit and simply change the location to sales. And now if you could see both of them are now under sales, which is the project name. Now we need to create teams. So before creating team, let's see what is the current setup in our backlog on boards. So let me click on backlog. So 
backlog if you see only one backlog is there which is sales team backlog and there is no other and similarly if you go to boards you will find only one board which is created under the project name just remember this we will come to this later now let's jump back to project setting now let's create four teams I am going to follow a naming convention such as CS means cloud solution hyphen dev and here we can add members so as of now I, I didn't have any teammates so let me add myself you can add as many members as you want and if you wish to provide a description for it you can provide and who are the administrator for this team I am leaving myself as administrator and if you see this add admins to the team as member so anyway i am just i have provided my name under members if not still it will be added because my name is under administrator and this checkbox is enabled now permissions permissions we are going to see in detail in later part but anyway for this team what is the access you want to provide you can change it at any point of time but at this point i am going to provide reader access or contributor access which one I need to provide by default contributor will be there so let it be the same and do you want to create an area path with the team name yes with that only we are going to you know organize our work strategy so just click on create now let me create one more team for test And similarly for this one I'm going to create area path just click on create and now let's create two more teams for application solution for this I'm going to follow the naming convention AS AS means application solution and one for test if you provide the same team name which is already available it won't let you let me click on create ignore this sales team this is created by default now let's again go back to project configuration under that areas so here if you see whatever the team we have created because while creating the team we have selected the option to create an area path for this team right so it got created but this is not under proper hierarchy right if you just minimize everything is under sales but these two team should be under application solution and these to be under cloud solution so in order to do it just click on edit and click on the drop down application solution now if you see dev team have moved from here to here similarly for testing team let me fast forward this content before we proceed i like to highlight that it takes a lot of effort to make a video like this so I request you to hit the bell icon as well and super thanks is now enabled on our channel if you wish to contribute I would really appreciate it now let's jump back to our boards and backlog so let me refresh this previously only one team is there which is the default team which got created with the project name now if you see we have four teams two for cloud solution and two for application solution so if you just click on it as of now uh, all the work item which we have created is currently under sales team we will be reassigning re them but anyway now let's go to backlog in backlog as well you will see four different teams now let's assign the work item we have created so far to the respective teams or area path I'm starting with epic so this epic is common across the project under that only we have created the future so I'm going to leave it as sales area path and now we have two futures application migration to cloud so let me open this I'm going to assign this to cloud solution area path so after this the team can decide what are the user story needs to be created for dev team and what are the user story needs to be created for testing team and they can assign each other so let me select cloud solution as of now let me get back to work item and the other one 
this is for application solution area path so let me select it now let's get back here and let's get into the user story and if you see here integrate application with the google login so this is specific to application solution and this is belongs to development team i haven't created any story for testing team i will create a separate uh, you know user story for testing team and i will assign to them so let's save and get back and this is going to be the same for this one as well so it is automatically coming as suggestion let me save so now let's get back to boards see we are getting up whatever the task assigned to dev team and similarly if you go to backlog you will see the user stories and this is this user story is already attached with the two more tasks which is showing up here and one more important thing is that just navigate to project setting under that go to permissions and click on contributors and let's see what are the members under contributors so all four team have been added here why because while creating the team itself we have provided that this team needs to have contributor access so in case if you want to modify you can easily modify access of the entire team like this just click and remove we have lot of concepts to cover i request you to hit the bell icon so that you will get a notification whenever i am uploading new videos most importantly super thanks is now enabled on our channel if you wish to contribute i would really appreciate it follow me on linkedin to stay connected and i will be providing the url for whatsapp and telegram link in the video description please do join thank you bye bye